Okay, so this is, I guess, one of my rocket prototypes I built for astronomy. Yes, I made a really weird looking launch pad type thing. Here, I need to move my character. Um, platform one. So yeah, here's my little character dude. This is my rocket I built. Obviously, it's not to scale, and I'm assuming you can tell what it's kind of based off of. At least this version is. Um, these are bothering me. I need to move them. So these can go down. Let you move that out of the way as well. Yep. Okay. Listening. Um. You need to go into this one. If I'm remembering correctly. Yep. That's right. Yeah, it's kind of cramped in here. This is the top part of the rocket. Most of them are made batteries and electrical engine. These RTG things kind of provide energy. Uh, this is the main body rocket. So if this was the if this was in real life, obviously you'd have um, rocket motors in here instead, and the bottom would be just two little tiny pieces. I mean, yeah. Anywho. So essentially, I built a big-ass engine. Use a lot of fuel-ish. This isn't a perfect rocket. I have a better one that I'll be using later. Because um, this one, just a concept build, they slap together pretty quickly. So all I do right now, it's kind of... I'm actually kind of surprised it's like standing up straight. I'm very proud of it. So if I go to combat mode, the base part will actually launch. This part will be dragged behind. It's kind of funny to look at. Watch. Taking control. Yep, that's how rockets work, guys. You ever see a rocket fly? And then this one just release the dock. And then it should fly off like that, except... Prototyping stage? Eh. Obviously, it doesn't work very well. But hey. Eh, whatever. So I'll destroy the vehicles. Character is back up here. Get a new launch platform in. That'll work. These tanks hold nothing but resource, and it's really just to repair shit. Let's put these down for now again. Things moved out of the way. We'll load in the actual spaceship. Yes, it's very original name, Spaceship One. Obviously, you can tell it's trying to take off. Turning off. And it's gonna crash to the ground. And probably hurt itself. Or if it doesn't, I'm gonna be very, very surprised. Okay, it really didn't. I'm very surprised. So we'll just put this is a little tractor beam thing they have on there. Select this unit, turn on. And I'll hold it on the launch pad for me. And then do I self control? I do not. Okay, well I don't need to be in here anyways. So obviously the launch pad's actually a working launch pad. But if I switch over to here, and walk over here, I can actually hold the rocket in place. So if I turned it on to, you know, to release its stock, turn it on to Taking combat control. mode, it can't fly. Because these blocks are holding it in place, and you got the top in the way. I mean, I can always, you know, just go like this, but it never really works very well, and it always ends up crashing. I mean, it's very amusing. Turning off. But it's not very um, profitable. <laughs> I guess that's the proper word for this. And we have to wait for this thing to actually build itself. Yeah. So this game isn't exactly perfect. Not exactly realistic. Well, let's apply that dock again. I mean, there's not much I can do about it, but hey, it works. Let's put my character actually inside the ship this time. Oh, wrong one. There we go. So he's inside the ship now. Now the ship is made out of mostly, uh, this is called advanced alloy or whatever it is. Here, let me check. Go in build mode, blocks, 
lightweight alloy. So if I'd assume it's probably made of some like titanium aluminum alloy type crap. This stuff is essentially just steel. So this allows me to get into space, blah blah blah. It's kinda hard to deal with heat physics in this game because it makes no sense whatsoever. These are iron thrusters because the regular jet thrusters only work to a certain altitude in here, which is about 900 meters. This isn't exactly Earth. So, let's launch this. Taking control. These are the regular engines right here. Now, they'll be cutting out about now, but they'll still keep going because the way this game is set up, it's still pretty early. But essentially, this game will actually, you know, I'll keep going up. There's my little number for my power input because, well, what's actually inside of here is just batteries and an electrical engine. Apparently they figured out efficiency long before we did. So yeah, in theory this thing will actually just keep going up forever. These ion thrusters aren't very powerful, but they keep working. And in theory these actually should be coming around eventually, I heard they've been working on that. Ooh, apparently I'm actually using more power than I thought. So yeah, obviously this circle, that's a weird ass little circle thing. It's a fog of war for the game, so you know, no cheating and crap, but if you haven't noticed, I'm actually slowing down a little bit, but technically speaking in this game, I'm way far in orbit. So I can actually probably power down the engines. And let's turn off the AI. Turning off. Hmm, gravity still has an effect on this? That's actually kind of impressive. These are just gonna slow down. Now let's switch back to water mode. Because this game has multiple different modes and it's basically mostly for ship building. That's always the basis of the game. So yeah, I'm technically in space. Obviously, you could see before that this thing actually could land somehow. But as I have it right now, that's not going to happen. Or at least it won't be for a while. See, gravity's going to take over. It's pulling the nose back down. I mean, I can always still, you know, turn on the propulsion and whatever and, and keep going up, but... Woo, 10,000 meters, we're 10 kilometers up, kids, woo! Whatever. So yeah, essentially the ship is now gonna turn around, and it's... Yeah. Even so far, it's actually making my computer glitch out. That's cool. So yeah, I guess we're technically in orbit. I mean, uh, well, I can dive it just under the ground now. Now, if this was real life, I'd be overheating, and my ship would probably be trying to kill itself, but... The game isn't exactly accurate, so I can get away with literally going at full speed right into the dirt. I don't know how that works still. We're going to slow down for some reason. Get into the atmosphere. I'm going to cut off the engines and just let it roll. This game really likes self-writing. Apparently. There's an update in between me building this and this video, so... Accuracy of everything going on, I don't know what they've been changing. So yeah. It's my, uh, little tiny project. If you want this, I can actually give you a Steam link to it. Just ask me. Send me an email. I'm screwing with this. There's another game called Space Engineers. I actually picked up 
um, a couple of days ago. That one is a lot more realistic. It actually has all the elements and stuff. Cobalt, aluminum, steel, iron. Well, steel is iron, duh. Silicon, tungsten, that kind of stuff. You have to use ice and it's actually kind of interesting. I just don't know how to play it well enough yet, so I didn't use it for this project. I used this game. And it's kind of interesting if you want to learn how to build a ship, spaceship, battleship, tank, land vehicle, anything. Decent. Yeah.